My name's Lillian Alberg. I'm a senior and I'm playing Patrice. Patrice is kind of the outcast. She's kind of the weirdo. No one really likes her, but I like her, so that's okay. <laughs> With this character, I'm having a blast. She's so against what everyone else believes in, and I think that's kind of cool. She's just being herself unapologetically, and it seems like a lot of the other characters in the show are trying to be something that they're not. Hi, I'm Gianna, I'm a senior, and I play Archie. Archie is Patrice's best friend. He's got a disability, but he doesn't really let that stop him. He's honestly just like a normal, goofy 13-year-old kid. It's really a lot of fun to play him because he's so goofy. I like to make him seem as goofy as possible. He's kind of selfish, but you know, in like a funny way. It all really ends good for him, so yeah. My name is Charlie Elliott. I'm a junior this year at Pius, and I play the role of Evan. Evan is placed into a really tricky situation. His parents split up. He moves halfway across the US, and he's trying to figure out like how to go about this, how to make friends. Uh, he's Jewish, he's turning 13, and his bar mitzvah's coming up, and he is just like, not knowing what to do, so you know, the whole show's kind of based around all of the interactions that he has as he comes to this new town in Appleton, Indiana. And you should Come see the show. Uh, we've worked really hard. We, we've put a lot into this, and I think that uh, I think that you should come and celebrate it and celebrate it with us. My name is Ethan Ramsey. I am a senior, and my character is Brett. Brett is really just he's a jock. He's the the star athlete of the school. He's a bit of a jerk. He's kind of like the leader of the inner circle. He's, he's trying to get a girl, so at times he can be quirky trying to change his personality to fit what he's trying to get at that time, like whether he's trying to get a girl at that time or whether he's trying to gain friends or push someone off. Hi, my name is Veronica Took. I'm a junior and I play Lucy. Um, Lucy, uh, she's one of the most, if not the most popular girl in school. She's very like out there, she's sassy. The first thing I ever read about her, like used the word predator to describe her. Uh, she goes after what she wants and by God, she's gonna get it. And that doesn't um, stop for anything, especially when it comes to this boy named Brett. Unfortunately for her, Brett likes her best friend, Kendra. So Lucy's whole thing is like, she's fighting to get Brett, but Kendra is kind of in the way of that. My name is Madison. I am a sophomore and I play Molly. Molly is one of the cooler girls at school. She's kind of known for being someone to spread a lot of rumors about people. That's kind of her biggest, something that she expresses a lot. She's super confident. She keeps close to her friends a lot. The most fun part about playing Molly is there's the big song, It Can't Be True, where she's telling everyone about this happened with this person and this person and da 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 da, -da and She's like, you can't, you just can't believe it. It's, it's really fun because I'm almost running around telling everybody about everything. She's very much the costume. Uh, hi, my name is Valeria. I play Kendra in the show. And, oh, I am a junior. <laughs> Kendra is a very, I would say like preppy girl. She's the most popular girl in school. She has a best friend, Lucy, but she's very oblivious to the fact that a guy likes her. She doesn't know what's going on most of the time, so she's al she always looks very confused, and it's very funny. I'm Milo, I'm a senior, and I'm playing Eddie. Eddie is one of Brett's little followers, and he's very much of a yes man. He goes with what Brett said, but it's all he also has Brett's well-being in his heart. He's kind of like the kid I wish I was in middle school. On the football team, has a lot of friends, you know, he has a best friend, and it's nice to like play someone I wish I was in middle school. My name is Nico, I'm a sophomore, and my character is Malcolm. Malcolm, he's kind of goofy. He's kind of like a prankster, kind of. He's one of Brett's goons. He jokes around a lot. Him and Eddie kind of do the same thing. They're like in a little pair. It's nice. You should come to the show because it's really funny, good music, good choreography, We and we put in a lot of work, and I think Anybody would like it. Hi, my name is Morgan Parr. I am a sophomore at Pius. Um, I am playing Charlotte. I would say that Charlotte, uh, at first she can be seen as like a mean girl, like kind of like a bully type, like always gossiping, kind of in your business, always, yeah, just always with her popular friends. But I don't think that's her entire personality. 
inside, she's really just, um, she's just a teenage girl. She definitely learns that a lot about herself too throughout this whole musical. People should come see 13 because we put a lot of effort into it, that's for sure. Jonathan's really great. Every actor is just doing a fantastic job. And it's just honestly a really great story. It's very wholesome, very nice. You could bring your family. It's really sweet. So uh, yeah, come see it. You should come see this show because it's something a lot of people have worked on really hard. All of us just put our hearts into this show and into many shows. And I think just being able to come in and see how the work pays off is really something to see. You should come see the show because it's just such a surprisingly beautiful show. You think, oh, you see a show about middle schoolers and you think, how deep can that be? But it's actually such a wonderful message. You have bits of comedy thrown in there, but at the end of the day, it's something that people can resonate with and people of all ages too. I don't think you ever really grow out of feeling awkward at times. I think it's a really good show and everybody has worked really hard, so. You should come see 13 because it's one of the most relatable musicals about being 13, in my opinion. That's an age where you are starting to really come into your own. It's really when you're starting to come of age and figure out who you are and who you associate yourself with and what you believe in. Even if you are 13 or you're 30 or you're in between those two ages, you can still find moments where you're like, this is something that I related to when I was 13 and it's something that I can still relate to now.